very clearly shows a Border Patrol agent on horseback grabbing a migrant shirt, but not whipping him. As of Friday, neither President Biden nor Vice President Harris had spoken to the chief of Border Patrol to find out what happened. Imagine that. But that didn't stop them or other prominent Democrats from concluding what the border agents did was wrong. Listen to this. Fox News has also learned that the Department of Justice sent a team of investigators to Del Rio on Sunday to determine if the horse patrol agents violated the migrant civil rights. Oh my goodness. There is so much to say about this because really you get it from all ends. Republicans being over the top racist in an incredibly extreme way and Joe Biden continuing to be fundamentally disappointing. All shameful lies, Jason. The photographer who took the picture saying, I did not see anyone whip anyone else, a Border Patrol agent on background telling the Daily Mail, uh, they've never seen this happen. So why are Democrats running with this vicious lie when it's contrary to the truth? So look at that part right there. Okay, they emphasize, their, Fox News is really focusing on this whole whipping detail. And they're like, oh, was there a whip? Technically, it wasn't really whipped if nobody had a whip like that is neither here nor there it actually doesn't matter what the particular instrument of violence is that border patrol agents are enacting on people who are seeking asylum by the way just to be clear that is against international law you are not allowed to prevent people from coming to your country in order to seek asylum so what the border patrol was already doing there is already illegal but Donald Trump started that precedent and Joe Biden has decided to continue it. But instead of addressing the nature of not letting people seek asylum, the Joe Biden administration is, is focusing on the particular optics of the methods used by these Border Patrol agents. But then you have Jason Chaffetz coming in saying this. I, I don't know why they're running with a lie. They, they seem to inject racism wherever they can to think that they can uh, just push their way through this, but... Which is absolutely disgusting considering the particular history of Haiti in particular. For those of you that don't know, Haiti was a slave colony that was owned by France. And there was a revolution where these slaves freed themselves and defeated Napoleon's navy. Now, the United States was very, very upset about the Haitian Revolution because they didn't want an anti-slavery movement to spread in the United States. They feared similar uprisings happening here, and the United States wanted to protect the institution of slavery. So, it waged an economic war against the Haitian people. To this day, the United States continues to economically punish Haiti for simply daring to oppose slavery hundreds of years ago. And that is the backdrop behind what Jason Chaffetz is claiming, the liberals just injecting racism into the situation. The racism is there. The racism is ever-present, especially when it comes to relations with Haiti. No doubt, and the real shameful part of it all, Harris, is the Border Patrol's inability to speak out for themselves. They just have to take it. One Border Patrol agent telling Fox News, would you go to work and do your best knowing that if you do, your boss is going to, quote, make you pay? He quoted Joe Biden. She's saying that Border Patrol agents should be able to speak out for themselves? Excuse me? Who is in charge? Who is the president? Are Border Patrol agents their own self-governing entity within our country that we have no democratic control over? Or maybe perhaps are they under the executive branch and they should be following the orders of the presidency and our democratically elected leaders? Maybe we don't want a rogue agency breaking the rules. AOC has criticized Customs and Border Patrol and ICE of in the past. They actively resisted any congressional oversight and have gone far and beyond constitutional restraints in their attempts to arrest people. Uh, hate always has a jump on love when people choose to focus on hate, mm. right? It's it's just, it, it, it comes completely with a narrative that's built in for some people. And that's what we're looking at here. So I just want to know where, what our journey has been like that we hate the Border Patrol inside uh, the Beltway. And this part, this is the absolutely most disgusting part. Claiming, oh, hate always has the jump on love. Excuse me? Who's being hateful here? People rightfully calling out ICE agents and Border Patrol agents for their horrific behavior is in no way, shape, or form just hate. It's not arbitrary hate. It is people calling out specific actions, which once again are a violation of international law and suggesting that there be some degree of accountability. No, the hate is coming from these people on Fox News who are claiming that anybody who doesn't look like them shouldn't have the ability to come to the United States. This is Ben Carolla with Rebel Headquarters. You can catch my show Galaxy Brain every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time on the Young Turks Twitch channel. 
You can also follow me on Twitter if you want to stay up to date with my content.